I broke up the Usos and put Jay on Raw and Jimmy on SmackDown to see who would be more successful. Let's get into it. They're going to start out in the mid-card title division, and if they win and then end up losing, we're going to take them out and put them in the world title division. You know what's going on. Let's... Oh, okay, okay. Jimmy is the first one that actually got booked. Can he get a win? And he lost. So even though Jimmy got his first loss, Jay hasn't even been booked, and he's still not booked. So it's really not looking good for either one of them. Jimmy is going to get an opportunity against Apollo Crews. He is not the Intercontinental Champion. You know, Shinsuke is a champ. We have to switch that out. And Jimmy gets another L. At this point, I don't even know if either of them will qualify for Money in the Bank. And Jay can't get booked on a Raw. What is happening? Okay, Jimmy is going to face Apollo again. And he gets another L. Jimmy, what is happening? Roman would not be impressed. Those were the go-home shows for Money in the Bank. And so far, I'm not seeing either one of the Usos. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, Jimmy is in the Money in the Bank ladder match. Let's see if he can get the win, and he does not. <laughs> <laughs> Jay still hasn't been booked for Raw, but Jimmy is going to be teaming up with Kevin Owens, and they finally get a win. So by default, Jimmy is the more successful brother at the moment. He is one in four, which is pretty unfortunate, but Jay hasn't even gotten booked. Oh my God. This is not Shinsuke. Shinsuke is the Intercontinental Champion, though. If Jimmy gets this win, this will be a massive win for his career and he lost okay <laughs> okay wait a minute roman reigns and jimmy uso versus the dirty dogs and of course if roman's evolved he's getting the win it seems like jimmy can only get wins when it comes to being in a tag team it is what he knows best so i can't blame him let's see if jay can fight oh there he is it's about time jay uso versus ricochet and he gets the win the first time he shows up main event jay uso gets it and there is no pay-per-view in june so we're just going through the motions here but jimmy is teaming up with edge and bro jimmy does best when he's in a tag team even though jay got the win last week he didn't get put on that raw that's pretty sad <laughs> but we're working our way towards extreme rules let's see if any one of the brothers can be put on these shows jay where you at okay it, nope not there either jay is one and oh but he's only been on one card okay shinsuke is gonna be calling out <laughs> i can't i can't call him shinsuke when he looks like that <laughs> okay shinsuke is gonna be calling out somebody will that person be jimmy uso no it is cesaro that was the go home show for extreme rules i highly doubt that they'll be on these cards at all but let's go ahead and take a look nope okay damn okay kofi getting an opportunity here and kofi <laughs> won no way this is crazy i definitely thought this was gonna go way better than this i thought they'd get booked more i thought they'd be getting more wins but they can't even be on the show jesus it's about time jay showed up again and he lost jay is one and one currently okay wait a minute jimmy uso in the main event and he's facing Sami Zayn, and he wins jimmy uso is currently four and five i want to check the news oh he only won because shinsuke got involved <laughs> i mean a win is a win you know what i'm saying jay versus the miz jay you better win this yep. i'm convinced maurice got involved i'm convinced jimmy is going to be teaming up with kevin owens yet again but they lost this time jay uso versus mustafa ali and jay uso gets the win this is the go home show for SummerSlam. jimmy uso versus apollo cruz and jimmy is starting to get the ball rolling now will either one of them be at SummerSlam? that is the question okay so jimmy will not be getting an opportunity at the ic title he could still be on the card though and jay won't be getting an opportunity at the u.s title which means neither one of the usos made it i didn't really expect much they haven't really been racking up too many wins but you know maybe they could have like a one-off match but we got jay uso versus damian priest and damian gets the win jay will you be on this show yes you will you're getting your rematch but you can't get the victory okay jay's going against shelton and man jay is on a losing streak <laughs> jay is two and five at least jimmy is five and six jimmy couldn't make it to the go home show for hell in a cell but now it's time to see if they even made it to this card in the first place and it's not looking low okay jay uso versus mustafa ali what happens jay uso finally gets his win back run this match back again apparently but it's not gonna matter jay gets another l i honestly thought they would be getting booked way more than this but jay uso can't even beat the miz let's see if they can make it to super showdown though i'm not seeing an uso brother 
yet, and I don't think we will see one. I want to check where they're at in the divisions. Jay Uso is number eight in the U.S. title division, and since there's not many competitors, Jimmy is literally last. <laughs> if Jay does not get this win, this man ain't winning nothing else in this universe mode. Okay, Jay beats Humberto Carrillo. <laughs> okay, Shinsuke, aka Dustin Rhodes, is calling somebody out, but he called out Cesaro. I always got to check those, especially when it's the champ calling somebody out. Jay Uso is going to be teaming up with Drew Gulak on Raw, but here's the thing. If Jay wins, he will be tied with his brother for the same amount of wins. Can he get the job done? And he did. He tied his brother. Interesting. Jay is going to be teaming up with MVP, but they lost. If I'm not mistaken, I don't think Jimmy has been booked here in a while. I, I think I, I might be mistaken but i haven't seen him it, jay is starting to get all the opportunities now but i mean he's floundering those opportunities but at least he's getting booked damn jimmy this ain't this ain't looking good especially since we're coming up on survivor series you definitely want to get some momentum going into that but we got jay versus ali there we go jay jimmy didn't get booked on smackdown again so we're here on raw it's jay uso and damian priest teaming up against lucha house party and they lost to lucha house party wow <laughs> Jimmy did not get booked on that SmackDown before Survivor Series. Let's see if they can turn some things around. Let's see if they're getting booked. They're not in the eight-man match, and they're not on this card at all. How is this match main eventing, but this is okay. The Usos are getting lost in the shuffle as solo acts. They have not been booked for two weeks straight. Neither one of them. Can they start to get some momentum? There we go. We got Ricochet versus Jay Uso and Jay gets a win. Here's the thing. Jay has more wins than Jimmy now. Jay has seven wins and Jimmy only has five. But Jay has also lost more matches than Jimmy has. Jimmy also hasn't been booked as many times as Jay, but that's neither here or there. And he's not on this card either. Whoa, how did this happen? Jay Uso versus Ricochet for the U.S. Championship. We got to watch that. How did this happen? I really don't know how Jay Uso got this opportunity. I think Ricochet is giving out U.S. Open Challenge matches or something because I feel like Jay has not gotten enough momentum to have this match. Hey, look, don't get me wrong. I'm not upset about it. I think it's kind of cool that we finally get to watch a match for a title. But let's see if Jay can get the win. And these two are chain wrestling right now. Ref, will you get the hell out the way, bro? I can't watch this master class if you are in the way. Bro, okay, well, Jimmy gets the advantage here. And Ricochet is a little frustrated about that. Oh, and Jay Uso follows up with a DDT. Jay, oh, gonna pick him up on his shoulder. Drop him on the ropes. Drop him on the ropes. Do what you gotta do. Yeah, destroy this man. <laughs> to the ropes we go. Ricochet. Oh, lifts him up and sends him down. Both men have their signature. This has been pretty interesting so far. This has been a good match, and Ricochet just used his sig. He's going for the cover. He hooks the leg. Count of one, two, but Jay Uso is still in this thing. Oh, but Ricochet might be looking for the end here. Top rope maneuver. 630 lands right on Jay Uso. Jay doesn't have resiliency, man. Two. And, oh, but he kicks out. Jay Uso. Oh my God. I was not expecting that. Jay Uso is still in. A super kick. Oh, no, no, no. It did not place. Oh, counter though from Jay. Jay wants to win the US title. This man wants to be more successful than his brother. <laughs> oh, and Ricochet. We're about to see some high flying maneuvers here. Leg right to the back of the neck, and Jay is hurting right now. Ricochet as fast as ever with the Pele. This is not looking good for Jay. It was earlier. I'm not going to lie. Oh my God. Forehead first into the mat. Cover him. Oh, this man got up. This man got up to the ropes. What's Jimmy? Oh, I almost caught him, Jimmy. There it is. Super kick lands right on the jaw. This man's getting up after that. Bro, if I was Jay, I'd be furious. <laughs> DDT, pin this man. Pin this man. Jay's going to keep on the aggression. He's still going. He said, look, if he was able to get up right after that super kick, he's still in this thing for real. Come on, Jay. Stay in this thing. Shake off the cobwebs, my friend. Come on. Oh, these two going back and forth. Oh, but a big bicycle kick yet again. Oh, what is this? Ricochet. Ricochet taking a page out of the Usos book. Going for a submission. Is Jay going to be forced to tap here? Jay, come on. Just survive. Just survive for a little bit longer. You're almost at your signature. There it is. There it is. Use the signature, Jay. Do what you got to do. Up on his shoulders. Samoan drop lands. Ricochet is in a bad spot. Ricochet on the ropes. Oh, and he dumps him to the outside. 
Wait, wait, wait. Jey Uso looking to fly here over the top rope, and he takes out Ricochet. We're at a count of six. Jay, get this man back inside the ring. Finish the job. <laughs> oh, Ricochet's back up. Count of eight. Ricochet was about to get in. Jay stopped him. Jay, you're an idiot. You're an idiot. You're an idiot. He gets in, but it doesn't matter. Jay gets the win, but not the U.S. title. This man's an idiot. Bro, that is so unfortunate for Jay Uso. No matter what, it goes down in the history books. Jay got the win, but it doesn't matter. There we go. Jimmy finally got booked after months of being gone. Let's see what he can do. And he gets the win in his return. <laughs> that man got injured or something. So Jimmy is actually six and six. It's not the worst I've ever seen. Jay Uso is going to be competing in a fatal four way with Ricochet, Ali, and Cedric Alexander. And Jay Uso took the pin in this match or maybe he tapped i don't really know jimmy uso is going to be facing Sami Zayn, and jimmy's starting to get some momentum jimmy is finally on the positive he has seven wins and six losses so here's the thing we're at the royal rumble and neither one of them got booked for a title match or a match in general but let's go ahead and check the news and see who won the royal rumble drew mcintyre won the royal rumble come on you've already won give somebody else an opportunity okay we got jimmy uso versus daniel bryan and jimmy is getting wins back to back now this is three wins in a row for him sammy Zayn appeared on stage to applaud jimmy uso for a strong showing in the match could there be a respect developing between these two superstars interesting are they are they about to team up or are they in a rivalry <laughs> oh no their rivalry is currently growing okay well jimmy is currently in a rivalry that's gonna start jay can't even get booked let's see if jimmy can get another win and he does this is looking pretty good for jimmy uso right now this is four wins in a row neither of them got booked for the elimination chamber we only got two pay-per-views left they gotta make an impact quick jay uso versus elias if jay loses is I'm going to be pretty disappointed. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Jay and Jimmy have the same amount of wins. They both have nine wins so far. And on a random episode of SmackDown, the Intercontinental Championship is on the line. But before we get to that, we got Jimmy Uso versus Sami Zayn in the main event. And Jimmy gets a, his fifth win in a row. What a guy. And Shinsuke is still the champ. <laughs> or should I say Dustin? I don't know, Jay. You kind of need to get this win or else Jimmy is the more successful brother at the moment. And Jay gets an L. Sammy and Jimmy are going to be facing again, and this is his sixth win in a row. There is no way this man should not be getting a title opportunity soon. Jay is going to be facing Shelton, and Jay is on a losing streak. Call him main event Jimmy Uso, because he's been main eventing a lot. Oh, Jimmy gets an L. Okay. Now we got Jay teaming up with Shelton, and we've seen it with Jimmy. They do best when it comes to being in tag teams, but not this time. Jay Uso gets another loss. That was the go-home show for Fastlane, too, so I know that man did not make a good impression. But we got Jimmy Uso versus Baron Corbin, but no winner. Sami Zayn came down to ringside while brooding as he watched his rivals match. He made his move after the match ended, attacking Jimmy Uso to start a brawl between the two superstars. Their hostility may be past the point of no return, both of them wanting to beat each other in fights instead of matches. This is like the first draw we've seen, so I guess that's pretty cool. <laughs> Jay did not get booked but Jimmy did. He's going to be facing Sami Zayn. Will Jimmy get the win here? And he does. Massive win. Jay is going to be facing Elias and the losing streak continues. That is Jay's 15th loss. And he only has nine wins. Jimmy, on the other hand, is 12 and seven. Can this be his 13th win? And it is. Jimmy Uso has had enough from his rival, taking out all of his frustrations and anger on Sami Zayn with a furious attack. The superstar's perseverance and courage are being put on display after delivering payback. We got Jay versus Ali. Will the losing streak continue? Jay, bro, what happened? Jimmy came back from being out for like a month or two and he started dominating. Jay was here the whole time, basically. He got an opportunity at the title, but he fumbled the bag. And it looks like Jimmy just picked up that same bag. Oh, never mind. He lost. <laughs> Jay has to make an impact right now. We are that close to WrestleMania. We have two Raws left. Let's see what he can do. We got Jay versus Elias again. Jay, Jay is, he's not even going to make it to Mania at this point. Jimmy is not booked for this SmackDown, but I have a feeling he's going to get involved in this match. Jimmy has had enough from his rival, taking out all of his frustrations and anger on Sami Zayn with a furious attack. I've read that one already. <laughs> 
This is the go-home show for WrestleMania. This is the last Raw for Jay to make a serious impact. And he finally won. That was Jay's 10th win. And Jimmy is going to be main eventing SmackDown. He's going to be facing Apollo Crews, but there was no winner. Sammy came down to ringside before his rival's match with wicked intent, entering the ring and attacking Jimmy Uso to end the match in a disqualification. The animosity between these superstars has grown out of control, both of them intent on hurting each other. So I looked through the card, Jey Uso did not make it to WrestleMania, but Jimmy did. Let's see how this match plays out. There hasn't really been one true dominator in this match. They have been going back and forth. Jimmy Uso just used his signature. Will Sami Zayn be tapping out here at WrestleMania? Will Jimmy get this win? This will be a huge win for him. Oh, never mind, never mind. Sami Zayn gets out of harm's way. Oh, but here it is. Blue Thunder. Shout out to Aaron real quick. <laughs> Turns him around. Will Sami Zayn pin Jimmy right here, right now at WrestleMania? Jimmy Uso kicks out. If Jimmy can land the super kick, bro, that might be it for Sami. Oh, Oh, but the half and half. Sammy turns him around. Maybe looking for that Huluva kick. Oh, wait. No, no, no. Wait a minute. Oh, my God. Wait. I just realized this is vintage. Sammy Zayn through the turnbuckle. What a DDT. Well, Sammy gets taken down with a perfect neck breaker. And Jimmy Uso has the finisher in hand. Super kick right on the button. Finish the job. Cover. Hooks the leg. One, two, three. And Jimmy Uso gets the win at WrestleMania. Oh, but we getting a cutscene too? Wait a minute. Jimmy Uso celebrating here, and Sami Zayn tried to attack him after the match, and Jimmy putting some right hands right to the jaw and sent Sami out of the ring. Jimmy said, come on, man. You ain't trying to ruin my WrestleMania moment. But now it's time to see who the more successful Uso was. So here are the stats. Jay Uso was booked for 27 matches and Jimmy was booked for 24 matches. However, Jay only got 10 wins and Jimmy got 14. Jay got 17 losses and Jimmy only had eight. And even though Jay Uso got an opportunity for a championship, he did win the match, but he did not win the championship. Jimmy never got an opportunity at a title but he competed at WrestleMania and won. Therefore, between Jimmy and Jay, Jimmy was the more successful brother. If you guys did enjoy this video, remember to drop a like and let me know if you want to see this more in the future. Click one of these two videos on screen if you want to keep watching the videos. You can watch one of my last universe mode simulations right there, or you can watch something completely different right there. Deuces.